Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And tonight, it'll be the New Orleans Hornets going up against the Charlotte Bobcats. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. In the starting stages of the season, but Greg, how much can go. you tell about your squad at this juncture? Kevin, actually a lot. Listen, the title contending teams, they know they've got something special brewing already. I, I actually think you normally get that feeling in training camp. Ameka Oka for the bucket on the assist by Paul. And you know, Paul is a dime dropper, a dynamite playmaker who continues to wow us with his passing Thomas sends a screen for Augustine off target from outside and it's the Hornets with the ball oh, he's outside and the pass to Paul Okafor with the screen on Augustine Cole for three a three pointer is right on target Chris Paul more than capable of striking it from distance too but he's a master of the mid range Thomas sets a screen for Augustine and Thomas now top of the key Wallace kicks to Thomas and it's in there and that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense, like he was facing on that possession. And it's Ariza with the ball for New Orleans. It's a three-point game. Down low, it's the Yakima. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Thomas is screen on Paul. Augustine passes to Thomas. Bridges outside. Wallace kicks to Thomas. Six on the shot clock. There's the three. Hornets with the rebound. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Okafor sets the pick for Paul. Pass to Okafor. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, here's Bridges. Last game, he had 10 points. Pass to Thomas. The rebound by Okafor. New Orleans leading by seven. And it's Ariza in the corner. Back to Paul. His second shot goes in off to a good start. Two for two. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this one. Just too many good looks from in close. Bridges against Ariza. Out to the right wing. Thomas a screen. Popped up there for Thomas. And in that it, L.U. Jam. You know, that kind of unselfishness, guys, from Augustine is really infectious, especially when it's coming from your point guard. Here's Paul. He has five. Okafor with a screen on Augustine. Second chance effort. Picks it out to Ariza. Pass to Paul. New Orleans moving the ball around. And it's sent back by Waltz. Bridges passes to Thomas. Uses the glass to finish the layoff. Thomas got six. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. And it's 
out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. As you take a look at Charlotte, they've had a very sore start to the season so far. Down in the bottom half of the conference. When I look at the Bobcats, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, that's the sense you get, isn't it? I mean, the important thing is that they don't panic here. Stick to the basics and work out of this slump without trying to do too much at one time. Now, here's Paul. Here's a reason. And another three for New Orleans. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Now, Augustine. He had 25 points in the win against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Wallace against Djokovic. Wallace misses. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Ball surveying the floor. Nice move. He takes it in, and he lays it up and in. Seven points in the game. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here. They look to me to be a bit sluggish. Now here is Augustine. He has yet to score. Not loose. Bridges outside. And Muhammad kicks to Bridges. Here's Augustine. Drops one in from the wing. And Augustine is terrific at nailing shots over the deep. Can't shake his concentration. Ball against Augustine. Launches from deep. Gerald Wallace grabs the miss. Cats trail by eight. Now here is Augustine. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Bridges kicks to Thomas. They pass to Muhammad. And Chris Paul first picks up the foul. Paul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Wallace against Djokovic. Passes it to Bridges. Just five on the clock. Here's Wallace. Sinks the triple. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. And it's Ariza with the ball for the Hornets. Leading by five. And this is the first time matched up with the Bobcats this season. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you play the team you're familiar with. Trains the three-pointer. Paul's got ten. Look at how calm Paul is. Shot clock winding down, and he doesn't let it phase him at all. Excellent feel for the game. Thomas passes to Wallace. Over to Yakovic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. Second what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Hornets? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Free throw, good Wallace. New Orleans making a switch here. McCarter's checked in. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Augustine. It's two free throws. Here's McCarter. Smith up top. 
into the paint. Here's Okafor. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. He's got six. Catch trail by eight. Livingston with it. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Now, here's Bridges. Like at six. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the launch. See the stat sheet here for D.J. Augustine. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Gerald Wallace taking two shots. First free throw is good. Hill, he's checked in for the Hornets. No good on the second free throw. Hornets leading by seven. Outside Ariza. Over to the wing. McCarter passes to Smith. Ariza outside. The three from Hill. That shot missing. Cats trail by seven. Thomas passes to Livingston. Wallace outside. Back to Livingston. Goes up at the stripe. That one drops for Livingston. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. And so it's New Orleans with it. Hill deciding where to go with it. Okafor with a screen on Wallace. Hill passes to Okafor. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. His shooting has been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. The Hornets shooting their first free throw tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. Steven Jackson's checked in for Thomas, and it's Henderson for Bridges. That one misses for Emeka Okafor. Okafor's strength is his defensive presence. Right? He's got rebounds the ball solidly and knows how to block shots, too. Here's Livingston. Tony. Livingston's got his second bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here is Smith, still without a basket. Here's Okafor, and Okafor slams it in. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Wallace outside. to Livingston. Hornets foul time. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Wallace against Smith. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing the defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Yeah, you're right. Not one second chance bucket for the opposition. They're boxing out on every shot. He'll find Smith. Okafer in the post. Mohammed's there. McDowell's shot is off. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. Pretty clear. 
They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting for Charlotte. Gerald Henderson. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. As you'd expect, Henderson very solid from the line. For the Bobcats, Jobs checked in for Muhammad. Diaw comes in for Gerald Wallace. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Sean Livingston. Free throws good from Henderson. Hornets lead by five. Nash outside. New Orleans moving it around. It's back to Hill. Cuts it five. And it's Paul missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Dion. It's rebounded by Paul. And it's Paul with the ball for the Hornets. He feeds it to Benga. Nash outside. The Bobcats pull it in. And here is Diaz. He had 19 points in the win against Milwaukee. To the left wing. To the inside. Jackson gets to Diaz. There's the pick. The train can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. And right from the start, Gary, yeah, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. They're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And here's Augustine following the three from Chris Paul. Let's it go from 11. And the rebound goes to Nash. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Paul. Paul is doubled to the middle. Pass to McCarty. Just five to shoot. Paul passes to McCarty. There's Nash with the three. The shot, no good. A big time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for the New Orleans Hornets. And it was from three point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. Back to the action in just a minute. just joining us we've played through one quarter in this one and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from new orleans just a terrific first quarter sparked really by their unselfishness yeah and you know so many of their hoops came off an assist which is a good sign of the ball movement and sharing that ball and he found the perfect spot behind the arc there big gap in the deep Augustine against Paul. Inside, Benga, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Hey, you know, when it comes to the pick and roll, Chris Paul does it with precision. His timing, impeccable. And Augustine kicks to Reed. Josh checks in for the Bobcats. First team foul. Now into the lineup for Charlotte. Number seven. D 
Diao, the pass to Augustine. From deep. And the rebound goes for the Hornets. They've led by as much as 10. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. And he makes the first. Unfortunately, 2009 first overall pick, Blake Griffin, missed all of last season with an knee injury. And thankfully, he is back this year. Griffin is an incredible athlete, already one of the best dunkers in the league. I cannot wait to get a full season of his talent. And so Paul nails both of them. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. There's the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Steven Jackson. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that. So sweet. Here's McCarthy. Scoreless thus far. To the inside. Here's Penga. It's rebounded by Livingston. Bobcats trail by seven. Here's Diaw. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Diaw's got his first bucket in this one. And this close in, Diaw can finish strong. No need to hold back. Watch outside. On the wing hill, guarded by Jackson. Orleans moving it around. There's the screen. Five to shoot. Count that one. Paul's got 17. Has his hands in every cookie jar. Paul with a little extra sugar. This is it to Dia. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And that one's good job. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Paul. 17 points in the game. He gets that one. And the Hornets lead by seven. Another assist in the career of Chris Paul. As good as anybody we've seen past the rock. And now the first time on call here for the Bobcats. Adjusters are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And some changes here for the Hornets. Stiankovic has checked in for Hill. And it's Ariza in for McCarty. Tyrus Thomas has checked in for Charlotte. Bridges comes in for Sean Livingston. him such a difficult matchup. It's his first trip to the line. Boris Diaz at the line for two. He's off on the first. And Boris Diaw, one of those guys that creates so many problems for opposing teams because of his incredible versatility on that front line. Six 
so he can't get either to fall. The Hornets leading by seven. Oh, great hands. Stoyakovic shoots well for a big man. Second team foul. The Hornets shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. What's so impressive about Stoyakovich is how lethal a shooter he is, and he's somebody that rarely misses from the charity strike. And both free throws good from Stoyakovich. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And taken away by Paul. Pass to Nash. He dishes it to Benga. Nash kicks to Paul. Reza passes to Paul. Lays it up and punks it in. Paul's got the lead up to 11 now for New Orleans. Exceptional focus from the point guard. Paul is no stranger to having to outwork the defense. Augustine against Paul. Now the pass to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Thomas sets a screen for Jackson. It's the three-point bomb. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Here's Paul. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And we got to talk about his four skills on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Here's Augustine following the score by New Orleans. Here's Thomas. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Back to ball from 20 feet out. And there's another one for the Hornets. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Now here is Augustine. He has five. That one's good. The New Orleans lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Jackson. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Ariza kicks to Paul. Shot from free throw range. Jackson grabs the board. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And now a moment to see the stats for Jackson. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. Averaging about 19 points, four rebounds, and two assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Checked in for now. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Muhammad's checked in. in this one. Outside Ariza. He kicks it to Paul. Five on the clock. 
Turns over Bridges. Three pointers for Yakovich. Muhammad pulls it in. And so it's Augustine who will bring it up for the Charlotte Bobcats. They trail by nine points. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. Passes it to Smith. Ball against Augustine. The drive by Paul. Up and in on the way up. Paul's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Reza passes to Benga. Dishes it to Paul. Augustine grabs the board and taken away by Paul. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Stojakovic against Jackson. And they double up Jackson. Bridges for three. And Jan shot. Good on that shot, and with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Muhammad. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Now here's Paul, 23 points in the game. Ariza kicks to Benga. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second personal foul. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bobcats. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint. Something coaches always love to see. And the Hornets making a change here. Okafer's checked in. And for the Bobcats, Wallace comes in for Jackson. And it's Livingston in for Augustine. He makes one of two that time. Bobcats trail by five. Here's Livingston, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Now, here's Thomas. Down low, here's Muhammad, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Here's a reason. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Stojakovic, the pass to Smith. Puts up a deep three. Muhammad pulls it in. Muhammad's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Bridges. He can't hit that time. Smith with the defensive effort. Wallace against Stojakovic. Pass to Okafor. Ariza outside. Okafor sets the pick for Ariza. On the high post. And then Okafor slams it in. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Now, here's Livingston. And Thomas now, top of the key. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Omega Okafor. The Bobcats have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. And, and guys, you know what? That's made things hard for them in a lot of their games. I mean, that inability to convert their chances at the free throw line.
free throw good from Thomas. Chris Paul's checked in for the Hornets. DJ Augustine's checked in for Charlotte. And he can't hit the second. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. And so it's Augustine who will bring it up for the Charlotte Bobcats. Six-point game. Thomas is screen on Paul. Bobbed up there for Thomas. It's taken away by Smith. And here comes Ariza. Late in the fast break. Two points. That one goes. Ariza's got his third basket of the night right there. And Ariza, superb in transition, runs the floor beautifully, getting to the right spot before the defense came. Outside Thomas. And the rejection by Smith. Stiakovich against Wallace. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Bobcats trail by 11. 125 left to play here in the second quarter. Thomas down low, covered by Smith. They grab their own miss. Here's Muhammad. And at last, they get one to fall. Muhammad's got six in the quarter. The Hornets leading by nine. Ball outside to the middle and stolen by Wallace. And it's the Bobcats on the break. That's good for Thomas on the assist by Augustine. Thomas got nine. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense, no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Paul. He's got 23. Kicks it out to Ariza. Smith outside. Addition out to Paul. Pass to Ariza. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Shot clock at five. Stoyakovich, the pass to Ariza. And Paul puts up a deep three. Muhammad pulls it in. Muhammad's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. Augustine with it. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's New Orleans. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Bobcats trail by seven. And here's Augustine. Knocks it loose. It's Thomas on the wing. Oh, 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 oh,
with the second effort. The Hornets pull it in. Okafor's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. To the paint. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his sixth assist on the night. Here's Augustine. Wallace, right side. And no good. Good work defensively by Smith. And it's Paul with the ball for the Hornets. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. A reason to look. Cats trail by nine. Now Augustine, he has seven. There's the pass to Muhammad. Here's Thomas. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Okay, with this break, let's run down the point guards with the most assists in the league in the past 10 games. Fifth on the list, Chris Paul. And these are the best passers in the NBA. No question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure the offense is running at full speed. And that's the thing to me. I mean, as exceptional as their assist numbers are, it's their leadership and that ability to direct their offense. That's what makes them stand out. New Orleans making a switch here. Angus checked in. The first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Hornets leading by seven. Reza dishes the ball. Reza passes to Benga. Now here's Paul. 23 points in the game. Kicks it to Benga. Down to five on the shot clock. The three. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got 26 points. And Paul doesn't lack confidence taking those long triples. And with results like this, you can understand why. Now, here's Thomas. 11 points in the game. Back to Augustine. Top of the key. Green for two points. Augustine. Augustine's got nine points. And, you know, after starting 0 for 3 this half, they finally get one down. Okafor with a screen on Augustine. Here's Paul. And he comes up with the deuce. 28 points for him. You know, Paul's got that tenacity you like to see in an offensive player. Not going to shy away from taking that shot. Augustine passes to Bridges. to Thomas. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Okafor's got 12 rebounds here tonight. A big time effort. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Now here's Paul. 28 points for him. He kicks it to Okafor. Bengut issues to Paul. Here's a reason. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Ariza against Bridges. Pass to Augustine. Here's Wallace. Takes the three. And the whistle blows is going to be on Nazima. That's his third foul of the game.
The Hornets leading by 10. Paul with the ball. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Okafer sets the pick for Paul. It's the hoop. Got a hand on it. And here's Augustine. It's a floater. Paul outside. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got seven points for the quarter. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Thomas is screen on Paul. Augustine against Paul. And Augustine kicks to Muhammad. Pass to Augustine. Bridges sets the screen for Augustine. Wow, through the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Hornets. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. You know, the defense has given them that shot, and they've knocked it down consistently, and that's been a real key factor for them tonight. Free throw drops for Augustine. And, you know, the speedy Augustine is really an excellent teammate and a dependable role player, a veteran presence who can really stroke it. And the second free throw, good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. And he makes all three. And so it's Paul bringing it up for New Orleans. Timeout, timeout. timeout. They've held a 12-point lead earlier, and the Hornets Sorry. call time here. chance to check out the standings out west already we're in december taking a look at the hornets they were hoping to get off to a better start to the season things are still early so they still may have a chance and the path to a reason Kicks it to Okafor. Here's Paul. 30 points in the game. Six to shoot. Goes back up. A nice shot by Benga. Benga's got nine. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And so it's Charlotte with it. Following the bucket by the Hornets, Thomas, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Thomas got four points this quarter. Hornets lead by nine. Ball right side, outside Stojakovic. It's hauled in by Thomas. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Bridges outside. Passes it to Augustine. Tipped away. Bridges a screen on Paul. Augustine, no luck. New Orleans gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Shooting for the Bobcats. Bridges. Two shots.
first free throw is good. McCarter's checked in for Paul. And the Bobcats making a change here as well. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Augustine. Both free throws good from Bridges. Hornets leading by seven. Here's McCarter. Nothing on the board. Here's Ariza. Finds the open look, and it's on target. Love seeing Ariza pull up from here. Solid shooting for him. A complete score. To the inside. And the jam by Tyrus Thomas. It, it really does make the game Sean easy Livingston. for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Pass to Okafor. And Thomas over to help. McCarter passes to Ariza. Deep two from Stiakovich. Another one falls for New Orleans. Hubcats trail by nine. Livingston. Thomas a screen. Now here's Livingston. It's deflected. Here's McCarter. Stiakovich with it. Here's Ariza. And Thomas with the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. Here's McCarter. Bob Gans with the rebound. And here's Livingston. Over Benga. Second shot opportunity. Rebounded by Benga. New Orleans leading by nine. Bridges with the steal. Here's Livingston. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Livingston. Livingston's got six points. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Okafer in the post. Thomas is on him. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball call. Benga passes to McCarter. Ariza outside. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Shot clock at six. Here's Benga. Nail from three-point land. Benga's got five points now this quarter. You know, that's not how you scream for your guys, but ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now. It's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. Steven Jackson checked in for Muhammad. Now Zoyakovich. He's got nine. They set the pick. Here's the three. Wallace with the rebound. Wallace has got four rebounds now tonight. On the wing, Bridges. Ariza covering. Back to Livingston. Just five on the clock. That one goes. He's counting. He's got eight. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. So for the Bobcats, Morris Diaz checked in for Thomas, and Henderson subbed in for Bridges. Out left to the wing, pass to McCartan. Poked away. 
The pass to Okafor. Hill dishes to Okafor. Pocket six. Benga passes to McCarthy. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. McDowell. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Cats trail by eight. Passes to Livingston. No good on that one. New Orleans has gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. McDowell, the pass to Vanga. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. It's obvious they've taken fewer threes here in the second half and are focused on having a more balanced offensive attack. Now here's Henderson. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. The mid-ranger is so sweet, especially from Henderson. Pass to Okafor. Gets Hill on the wing. Out to the right wing. So the wing on the left. Pass to Okafor. Fires for three. Bobcats with the rebound. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Here's Jackson. That one off the back iron and out. New Orleans leading by eight. 59 seconds left here in the third quarter. To the wing right side. And there's the pass to Benga. He kicks to Hill. Here's McDowell. Okafor, the pass to Hill. Here's Benga. 14 points for him. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Diaw, the screen. Jackson with it. Now Okafor defending. And the basket by Diaw. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Out to the wing. Pass to Hill. To the right side. Here's McCarty. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. The Hornets have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. The first one falls, so both teams making some changes here. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. And Augustine kicks the Jets. Oh, and the buzzer, Peter's good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept this cool and splashing. And we've reached the end of the third. Hornets on top, leading by five. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. It's the fourth quarter. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Hill will bring it up for the New Orleans Hornets. They've held a 12-point lead early, and it's time for an injury report. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Hornets, and guys, unfortunately, he has a collapsed lung. Obviously, that's very bad news. His day is over, and it looks like he's going to be out for a number of games. It's tough news for this team to process. Kevin? David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. And in the training room, guys. I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. Here's Paul. Steven Jackson making his last shot. It's Hill on the wing. 
Guarded by Jackson. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Diaw with a screen on Hill. Here's Jackson. It's deflected, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bobcats will retain possession. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Here's Nash. Count it good. Work that one inside nicely. Cats trail by seven. Augustine looking around. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Diaw with the screen on ball. And that one, good. And Augustine has a smooth release. I mean, his jumper is straight catch. Ball passes to McCarter. And Hill has it in the corner. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. Sean Livingston. That's his first foul. First team foul. First team foul. wing some nice passing here by New Orleans five on the clock and the wide open shot from Paul a three-pointer off the mark rare you'll see him miss such an open look Hill against Jackson Charlotte making a switch Tom has checked in Bobcat substitution Number 13, Nazir Mohammed. Here's Augustine. Hill pulls it in. Hornets leading by five. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Gads with the rebound. Jackson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Diaw against Paul. Muhammad with a screen on Paul. Here's Diaw, and it's to the... Hill passes to Paul, and the shot goes in. Paul's got four points this quarter. Can't fault the defense there. I mean, Paul is just a crafty finisher inside. Augustine up top, defended by Paul. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. You only see the shooting. Pass to Augustine. Kicks it to Jackson. Pass to Diaz. Back to Jackson. Shot clock at five. Floats one, and it's sent back by Hill. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Ball passes to Benga. Ball with the ball, and by Augustine. Crops in the layup for two. Ball's got 36. Paul knows exactly which angle he wants to take on that shot inside. That just comes from great awareness. Mohammed with a screen on Paul. Here's Augustine. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Augustine's got nine points here in the second half. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot right in his wheelhouse. And the Hornets call time here. sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey guys, I had a chance to listen to what Monty Williams discussed with his players. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. 
keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Hornets. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Drills the three-pointer. Nash has got five points in the quarter. The man has no heart, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Now here's Jackson driving inside. They get a hand on it. Here's Augustine. Nice again. Good on that shot, yes, and with know. that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Muhammad. Nash outside. The pass to Paul. He kicks to Benga. And Muhammad sends it back. Out of bounds. Hornets ball. New Orleans keeps possession. New Orleans making some changes here. Emeka Okafor. He's checked in for Nash. Stiakovich comes in for Hill. And it's Ariza in for McCarty. And then for Charlotte, Tyrus Thomas is checked in for Diaw. Wallace comes in for Steven Jackson. And it's Bridges in for Sean Livingston. Off the inbound. And again, no good by New Orleans. Bobcats trail by eight. Now, here's Bridges. Wallace outside. Augustine up top. Charlotte moving it around. Five to shoot. And Muhammad kicks to Thomas. 18 feet out. Goes back up. Ariza with the rebound. The Hornets leading by eight. Ball outside. Okafer sets the pick for Paul. Almost, but it rolls out. Charlotte's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Down low. And Augustine kicks to Thomas. Over Paul. Thomas's shot is off. New Orleans gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. All against Augustine. Paul outside to the middle. Here's Okafor. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his eighth assist in the game. Catch trail by 10. Augustine with it. Passes it to Waltz. And here is Thomas. Covered by Okafor. Takes it from 10. Thomas with another miss. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Reza passes to Okafor. Pass to Paul. Muhammad pulls it in. Muhammad's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Thomas with the ball. Now Okafor defending. Augustine against Paul. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Augustine. Augustine against Paul. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. T.J. Augustine picks one up. The craftiness of Paul really on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls. one falls for him. You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. And so Paul nails both of them. Charlotte calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Ladies and gentlemen,
Bearcats trail by 10. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Pass to Augustine. Here's Muhammad. Another shot. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And here is Paul. Over Augustine. Doubled by Bridges. Ariza has the open look. Good on the triple. And the Hornets lead by 11. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here is Augustine. Third personal foul. Third team foul. Augustine against Paul. Muhammad with a screen on Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Augustine, no luck. Hornets leading by 11. Augustine with the steal. And here comes Augustine, leading the fast break. It's blocked. Now Zajakovic. And a chance to check out the Bobcats' upcoming schedule on Friday and then on Saturday. They'll head out on the road to face the 76ers in Philadelphia. And when you look at that Pacers matchup, they have that date circled. They love to compete, and they feel they can play very well against that group if they can execute And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good from Stiakovic. And so it's Augustine who will bring it up for the Charlotte Bobcats. Trailing by 13. The pass to Muhammad. Out to Bridges. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Really left the one that time. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. The Hornets leading by 10. Here's a reason. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. And, you know, the energy Ariza possesses impressive. Fabulous at converting despite getting bodied up. Now here is Augustine. Now the feed to Thomas. That's in Augustine with the assist. Augustine's got his sixth assist on the night. Great pass that time by D.J. Augustine. Here's a reason. Passes it to Benga. Wants to get it to Ariza and does. And good that time. Ariza's got nine points here in the second half. And we know Ariza can get cooking in no time. One team for a couple. He's in the zone. And the Bobcats call time here. Bridges dishes to Augustine. Here's Thomas. And Okafu with the block. Augustine against Paul. Okafu against the ball. 
pass to Stiakovic. Ball outside. Six on the shot clock. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. This ball is so good at working for his point. Even if the defense is on his back, challenging him, he still finds a way to finish. A minute 50 left to play here in the fourth. Goal against Augustine. Driving in. Here's Muhammad. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. So it's the Hornets now. Guys, yeah, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Here's the Akovic. Okafor finds Ariza. Just trying to shoot. Outside to Yakovic. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got six rebounds now in the game. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. Augustine, that's good. Shooting, driving, spotting up beyond the three. Augustine scoring in a variety of ways. Man, I like that versatility. And this just goes to show how much of a difference focus makes. Good win here for New Orleans. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of you. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Chris Paul. Well, I thought he was their catalyst tonight, guys. Moving the rock, actively looking to set other guys up. Outstanding work. At the line for the Bobcats, Tyrus Thomas. Two shots. No good on that one. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that brings them to within 10. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Here's McDowell. He's covered by Livingston. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. So good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step of becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity, and, and this is what they came out to do. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.